Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to this next stream in our Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. It's been two weeks, I think, since we played any of this. Uh, last week, decided to switch things up. Uh, but we're back at it this week with some more KOTOR. So what is up if you're here watching live? Looks like I transitioned to the same exact screen. There we go. Looks like we got Gabe and G-Shot hanging out here already. What is up, guys? And if anybody else is here watching live, thank you for stopping by. If you're watching after the fact, anywhere else on the interwebs, I appreciate it. So, yo, says Gabe, you sexy elven fish. And meme, you dynamic chopstick. All right. So last we left our hero, heroes. Uh, we are here. We are back in the hideout. We just saved the girl, which... I, because it's been two weeks, I've already forgotten a lot of the characters' names. Uh, we, you know, we were just in the sewers with the, uh, the duo of, uh, crap, now I forget her name and her Wookiee friend. Man, I really need to get back into this. So let's go. <laughs> we just got, uh, got back to the hideout. We're kind of reconvening with our, uh, our partners and whatnot. And uh, Bastilla, that's right. And then that's, um... Karth, yeah. Oh, uh, that's right. We've got some, uh, we've got some, some stuff here. Check out. So I'll do all that here. So anyways, the music you're hearing here, as always, is Animusic. Check them out at Animusic.com or over on YouTube under Animusic. And I forget what I had. Did I write down what the audio level was? I got all new. No, I didn't. I've got a whole new book that I'm using for all of my like audio levels and stuff. So let's just turn it up until I think it sounds alright. So let's check our our stuff here, <clears throat> just to make sure. I think I I think I did everything I wanted to. We got the energy shields on, which I kind of forget what I'm supposed to go. Um, I didn't want to t t put two of those. We've got. The belt was better than the stealth field. We decided to go with the the disruptor rifle, which we haven't really used yet, I don't think. <clears throat> um, let's see, we got all the items here. Let's search, uh, let's sort it. Show new items, parts and repair kit, okay. Quest items. Uh, I gotta remember where we are in this whole thing too. Zoc deck, Pazak, side tech, promised land, journal, Sith, papers. Okay, yeah. And there's our sca uh, our stats. We are a level six scout. We are edging toward the light side. <clears throat> the last thing we did here messages. Here we go. So this is kind of what we just had done. Uh, that's right. We had the vision about her. Once we escape Taurus, we can see the guidance of the council if you wish. I'll understand the significance of your vision. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford distractions. We need to find a way up Terrace. There we go. So escaping Terrace is our main priority. Um, sort by priority here. We have all those bounties if we want to do those, but nah. Uh, Karth, this whole ongoing thing about him, her, the duel ring, if we wanted to go back and do the thing, the duel against uh, everybody, and then the bounties, which I won't worry about, and then one death and I leave. Oh no. Rukil's apprentice. Rukil's outcast village has asked you to discover the fate of the... Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's right. It was, uh, that village underground, I think. He was asking us about uh, about her and then escaping terrorists. Okay, so has found has been found, but you still have no way to escape. Not only do you need the departure codes to get past the Sith blockade surrounding terrorists, you also need to find a ship. Oh well, yeah, uh, you're probably going to need help from one of the locals to get off the planet. All right, that and that, and all right, cool. And nobody is a part of our party yet, so let's. Ah, oh, crap. What did I just use? I turn it off. 
Oh no, shoot. Load game. <laughs> we'll load that. I don't know if that used up what I had. I don't think it does. It's just an energy shield, okay. Um, oh, workbench, wait a second. Let's, uh, let's check out the workbench. Can I upgrade anything I have? Crystal, power crystal, I don't have any. Uh, range, Karth Blaster. I've got a, an upgrade for him. Zalbar, that's the, the Wookiee. Uh, I've got a trigger for him too. I leave if Meme leaves. Oh great, well I better be careful. Oh, well Zalbar's not with us, so let's upgrade... Let's upgrade his. Missions Vibro Blade, which we've already upgraded. All right, cool. I guess that's all we can do. We can't do any armor yet. Anything in the locker? No. Okay. Oh, Zal oh, they're all with us. Oh. Zalbar and Mission. And... All right, well, let's go ahead and just talk to him here. How can I help? Uh, do you want to talk to me about something? I'd oh. like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Before we rescued you, you mean? I managed to free <laughs> myself. He's really pushing thing. that. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. Turn it back up then. Uh, can't you admit that you were rescued? You didn't escape the river until I arrived, as I recall. Okay, we're being a jerk about it, but... I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you thank for you. that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find you there, yet somehow you managed. <clears throat> also, avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, Gained sponsorship for the race and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Wait, I resume. And rest of the demos of stress, don't forget that. What can I say? I'm a talented individual. I had a lot of help. Karth missions up here. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. I think I control the Force? I feel like we did this. But for most people, I think we may have done this stuff, stuff by a while. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider force sensitive. It's obvious to me that the force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't, well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is. I'm glad I'm force sensitive or I could uh, to rescue you. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I've overstepped okay, blah blah blah. Hope to, okay. Journal, oh, journal entry added. Okay, so there was new, uh, new stuff. So I was told she sees the force acting through her, however, reluctant to speculate further. Feeling such matters are provided in Jedi Council. Okay, cool. The Swoop Gang? Oh, yeah. From Shadows of the Empire? Yeah, I know. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, do you know anything about this place? Paris? Terrace, I think I've already kind of talked From to him about hear, this. Th Never mind. Okay, well, we need to... We need to get off this place. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh... Terrace is a pretty good place. Uh, we've already... Tell me about the upper... Oh, tell me upper city. The upper city's got some nice shops and all, but it's boring. The only time I go up there is if I need to... Lower city. What can I say? The lower city was a great place to hang out until the Volkers started that gang war. Now you can... Well, uh, Undercity. It can be pretty nasty down there. You've got rat ghouls, okay, and yeah, then we... there's the out. Thanks for the info. Hey, no problem. I'm here. No, uh, I don't know. What are you offering, dude? I wonder if you can help me with a problem. Uh, I want to know a little more about you. Maybe we'll talk later. All right, so we need to find they're, they're hinting at we need to find a local to get off the island. But we need to take some folks with us. Well, she hasn't been with us before. Let's take uh, yeah, let's take Karth and Karth and Bestella just 
just because. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a race, it was just a straight shot, but yeah. <clears throat> That's right, a message from Kendurius Ordo. Meet him in the cantina. Okay. Kendurius, isn't he the Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. Given his connections, you can see why it would be wise to attend a meeting. Kendurius, it didn't say why he wanted to meet you, only that he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it would be forced to ignore. Thanks for the message, I'll go meet him in the Okay, got the message, you can go now. I'll say thanks for the message. Why did you not wait too long? Our entry added, so that would be escaping terror. So. That's part of our mission. So let's go to the can Kanatatina. Where is the outer way? What's that? There was something on that table? Uh. Oh wait, she's uh she's the first time she's been in our group and she leveled up too. <clears throat> Where's my um? There we go. Level up, yeah. She's got one point of something intelligence. Let's throw that there. Dude, wow, she has no skills. Holy cow! What is up, Zach Joe Adla? How you be exactly? Oh wait, that's your line. Exactly. What's up, man? Well, so yeah, she has no skills. She's just awareness and treat injury. So let's let's pop up. Is there something that just costs one? No, well, one that, one there. Now let's let's pop two onto. Watching Food Network. What are you watching on Food Network? Uh, using a force power requires force points. Your light and dark side rating affects your force points cost and some power. The further you stray from the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become. And the less expensive dark side powers become and vice versa. So they're saying following been recommended. Stun droid is what they recommend. Stun droid. Yeah, that would help. Yeah, let's accept that. Oh, she leveled up again. Chimney. Chim chimney. Oh no, some cake show. I just realized they need to make all their shows reality because you can't taste the food. That's how it keeps it interesting. Put one on intelligence and the power. They recommend doing burst of speed. Well, let's see. Well, this is the first time we've seen any Jedi stuff, so hold on a second. Level six be cure. Well, that'd be nice to have. Ramsey shows Force Valor power increases physical attacks. Okay Energy resistance mind effect stun Slow fear this is starting to get into dark side powers Kind of I'm guessing the red ones are dark side powers Yeah, they are well, so they recommend burst of speed. So let's go ahead and throw burst of speed. Sure. She leveled up again. Holy cow! I leveled up. Well, I guess she was a level like two when we met her, and and now she's a lot higher. Let's put. Man, you can hear my. You can hear my chair creak. I'm sorry. Uh, let's put one there. And we'll save that. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, uh, you've been granted the following feats this level Force Immunity Stun and Night Sense. Oh, what's Night Sense?
You gain this fee automatically as a level. Oh, okay, and deselect it. Okay, so Night Sense further. Uh, further in the connection with the Forest Jedi gains additional sensitivity actions. This feat grants plus four defense. Sweet. I have one that I need to add, so let's see. What do they recommend? Weapon, two weapon fighters, what they recommend. Prove two weapon fighting. Is she, oh shoot, is she double wielding lightsaber or she just has a double sided? Oh, we're level six? So yeah, cure. Power heals all party members within the 15 minute radius. Yeah, our 15 minute, 15 meter. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, Karth leveled up here too. <clears throat> Let's add one to his demolition. They recommend sniper shot. It's actually not bad to have. And we'll do that. All right, so let's, because we haven't been with her at all, really. As far as, like, uh... She gets the lightsaber. Yeah, so we haven't really been with her enough to, uh have any equipping going on right now okay defense of, okay we're all level six okay cool messages priority okay all right, let's do a little inventory management there. Sorry about that. Here we go. This is that upper city. Must gather your party before venturing forth. Come on. She's just taking her time. Jeez. Taking her time. All right. All right, we need to find... No, no, no. We need to find the cantina. Uh, upper city cantina, so straight ahead. Everything is They always keep saying this. Yes, what's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Issues seem to have with me. We didn't finish our conversation last time. Yeah. I don't understand where it's coming from. Let me try to explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Not built that way? That sounds like an excuse. Why are you so hostile? What did I do to deserve this? And what exactly are you watching me for? What did I do to deserve, you, uh, deserve it? Exactly. You haven't done anything. There's no guarantee that you won't do anything in the future. I've been betrayed before by people, and I'm. I'm yeah, I need a haircut. I was supposed to get one today, but my mother in law got sick. Um, which. It'll just wait a couple days. I did shave, though. I did shave. At least that looks good, kind of. Fade. Wait, what? Let's see if fade. I haven't had a haircut since April 2017. I wish I could do that. My wife wouldn't let me. Uh, so what did he say? Uh, I've been betrayed before by people and I, well, it won't happen again. So you're going to guarantee I won't betray you. I'm starting to get pretty tired of your attitude of yours. Of course, it won't happen again if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personal. You're going to need to wonder if you're ever capable of trusting anyone, right? How am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Me. Yes, you. Why would I trust you after all? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, <laughs> not Bastille, Haircut fade. I'm just gonna just cut it all off. Just shave it. Just fresh start, you know? <clears throat> uh, it's smart. You won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastille, especially. Okay, so you don't trust yourself, it is? <laughs> Pretty pithy advice, I see. I wouldn't want to live like that. Don't trust him. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? Alright, so he's kind of getting upset with us. So you don't no, want to talk about it? 
But I want us to save the galaxy. If that's even... Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please I don't want him to be mad at us. For now, can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. That's fine. He's probably just upset at us because he's got a car. by Priorita. Alright, let's go. I love how we're running around with these just big guns and... Nobody's stopping us. You look like a ses sexy bill billis billis. What? Um, wait, this isn't the upper city. Oh, sorry, no, it's just supposed to be cantina. It said upper city cantina. Did it not? <clears throat> oh. All right, that's where we just came from. I'm so stupid. I got turned around when we were talking and then Anyway I'm changing my user color me and Zach look too similar. Oh, I can tell them apart We're okay If that suits you Holy crap, who's lagging? Where the heck's Karth? Like seriously, Karth? Oh my gosh, jeez. Burb. There we go. I don't know why they like hanging back so much. All right, where's this comatose guy or whatever he says? Oh, I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. My character is like blocking. You know I get can't results. quite see. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking about? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang and the. Experience. Oh yeah, this guy, the, the milita military looking guy. They promised me a fortune to work for them, and I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand, but lately Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater. Yeah, planet. that's what I'm talking about Why are you telling me this? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it. I'm alone. in I need someone I know can get the job done to help me That's where you come in careful mercs like this having a lick of conscience. I'll betray you in a heartbeat This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. So just because I went ran, won a swoop race, like that, he thinks I'm crazy enough to break into uh, the I Sith guess. military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the well, I used to have a Sith outfit, but not anymore. Sith fleet's automated defense guns. That's in it for me. Here's the deal: you bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship. The Ebon Hawk. Gonna manage that. How am I supposed to get inside the military base? I'll be back when I get the codes. Hey, how are we supposed to get in? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top of the line astromech droid. Ah, we gotta get a droid. Lucky for you, I know just. We had one, then it blew up two seconds later. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Candorus sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Gotcha. Well, Davik get mad if I take his droid. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. Okay. That's why I need you. Uh, I'm sure. And that's our I only way off, so. Exception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this yeah. rock. All right. Sweet. Purchasing a droid. Purchasing a droid. Can you know, so Janice Nall has the droid in her upper city shop. Upper city shop. So we got to get out of here. Arena monitor. Oh, I don't want to talk. No, I'll be going. I didn't mean to talk to you. You're the 
The Star Killer guy. Yeah, you're like the uh, he's like the celebrity guy, right? That was his name, I think. Oh my god. All right, so the droid shop should be. Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong thing. Equipment Emporium. Upper city. Okay, so we need to go out, right, and up. See if I can buy anything here though, because I know I've been. Hey, look! If times weren't. I've seen who about my swooping. What you got for sale? All the health because packs and stuff. I, and the med packs. I was going through a bunch. Uh, show sell. Can I sell anything? I have eight med packs. We can sell these for one. Sure, just get them out of my inventory. Um, I can sell one blaster pistol. I don't need three of them. And all right, so let's buy nine hundred. Holy cow! And okay. Let's get uh, one, two, three, four, five. Still, we need to find a way to get more money because I hate that I have like no money. 